Hello cast and crew of TJ, my name is Peter A. Kelly, I am over 18 years old, 21 to be exact. I live in Long Island in a town called Mineola. I am loyal, dedicated, passionate, devoted, persistent, and committed to movie storytelling in Hollywood. I've been in the movie industry since August of last year. I love all different genres, all different characters, all different projects. And if it wasn't for the studio heads and the suits, no script would be greenlit, no actor would have a job, and no director would share his or her vision. Even if certain unions won't let actors or directors work because they're entitled, that doesn't mean I'll, I'll never stop loving and supporting and being passionate about movies and acting in all different genres. I love all different genres, comedies, family movies, thrillers, murder mysteries, sci-fis, westerns. I'll say yes to any and every type of character. Hero, villain, morally ambiguous character, cop, professor, sci-fi soldier, cowboy, demon, detective. I'll say yes to any and every type of project. Movie, TV show, video game, podcast, animated film, voice work. I'm auditioning for the title character of TJ. I love how this is a six-part TV series. And how he's a struggling stand-up comedian and navigates the world of New York's comedy clubs and bizarre gigs. And the whirlwind of the personal drama while causing his big break at a chance of fame. This is my audition for the role of TJ. Why? Do you need someone to put the toilet seat down for you? If we weren't at somebody's home and, and I knew you were there, yeah, it would be polite to put the seat down. It's a public place. I don't know who's going to use it, and it could be a man, therefore, I'm not obligated to put the seat down. I didn't know you were trying to do. I thought maybe she would want to talk, have a little chat. Exactly. You are not a psycho. I'll be on my way now. Oh, come on, Margie. I'm feeling some sexy... I'm feeling some sexist vibes here. I have a bad bladder. And therefore, it doesn't let me know that I need to pee until I have the need to explode. What about me and my other men out there who have it in an emergency? You know, they need to pee all over the seat. So they go into the toilet, and also, who pees while they're sitting down? It's not that fair. You may think men are <laughs> sexist against women, but they're, but from time to time, women can be sexist to men. Get the hell out of here. That's not how it works. Are you insane? Are you a psycho? Thank you. I love TJ, I love his character, I will fight tooth and nail for every character I did for, and I just want to work with the actors and directors I love and look up to. Glenn Powell, Kaylee Spaney, and many, many, many others. There, that being said, I will be respectful, polite, and mature to every actor and director I love and look up to. It doesn't matter how many times a union and their men and their leaders won't, won't let their actors up. Uh, have work. I'll, uh, I won't, uh, I love, I respect everyone who, for who, what they, for what they do, but stopping someone from doing what they love and 
preventing someone from telling stories uh, should never be should never be okay. So if Fran Dresser is watching this, it doesn't matter how many SAG unions there are. I'm a proud actor and I'm a proud storyteller. The SAG and the WGA strikes for one thing, but now not letting anyone work at this point with different unions. It was a little entitlement. And I just want to work with the actors and directors I love and look up to. That being said, I will be respectful, polite, and mature to every actor and director I work with in my acting career. Hollywood is the home and pinnacle of storytelling. And every studio every studio acts like a big family. And all the studios together may have they may they each one may act like a competition, but in a small way they're they're also a family. And every actor working with someone on a set, a cast is also family. And I just want to have a second family with the cast that I'm that I get to be a part of. And I just want to work with actors like Glenn Powell and Kaylee Spaney and Chris Evans and many many others. And that being said, I will be respectful, polite, and mature to every actor and director I work with. And I will not let anyone stop me from doing what saved my life. Because if I haven't seen Bus Girl, written and directed by Jessica Hennick, I wouldn't be alive talking to you today. I'm done with the delays. And I'm going to work with the actors and directors I love and look up to. Please pick me for the role of TJ. Thank you.